Hi everyone, I've got nothing to hide. I'm 57 years old and I've been riding two wheelers off-road for 53 years. Yes, that's a long time. But get this, 85% of my life has been spent either on a mountain bike or on a rigid bike. And you know what? I've had immense pleasure doing so. However, for the past six years, I've not ridden a mountain bike, that's one without a motor, in anger at all. And I wanna give you guys the reasons why I've not done so. So the context for this video is, well, I've been having a damn good time on an EMTB for the past six years. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys the honest reasons why I don't ride MTB, but to get some perspective, I'm gonna go and rent a long travel MTB to see if I still can have fun. This will be my first ride, proper ride in six years. Have I forgotten, fallen out of love with the non-assisted sport, which I did for 85% of my life? Well, of course I've not forgotten. MTB and EMTB are the same sport, right? Okay, so here we go. This is the essence of riding, right? Earn your climbs. Do they still say that? I don't know, but I could have sworn I saw some people getting in a van and trailer down the bottom. Uh, okay, so fresh air, talk through my legs. It's, it's good, I like it. I mean, it's no different to riding a road bike, but crikey, it's slow. I think, I think reason number one why I don't ride MTB anymore is that riding uphill on tarmac roads is just so dull, it's so slow. I just don't think it's made for long travel and sticky rubber. Oh, this is just so slow. It's also pretty dull, even though I'm loving the sort of, the feeling through my legs. I think, for me, if I want to ride tarmac roads, if I want to grind out climbs, you know, I'll do that on a road bike and I have great pleasure in doing that. You know, the speed, the loops, the big adventures, which is kind of why e-mountain biking has many similarities in that respect. So. I think reason number two is that EMTB is an evolution of MTB and the fact that I think for a cyclist there are now, there are just more alternatives for you to get out and explore the countryside. I mean, look at this. Finale really is a mecca for whatever kind of two-wheel sport you prefer. Oh, I foolishly was beginning to think that riding up the star marker was actually all right. Oh, this is just, this is just wrong. Oh, oh, wow, did I actually do this? I'm gonna have to stop. I can't believe I spent over a decade riding up this very track to the top of a roller coaster. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a wake-up call for me, I have to say. I think riding up the road was actually okay. I like the like the feeling, but but climbing something like this is just wow, it is like another world to ride in an EMTV. And I'll come on to that a little bit later. <laughs> I think part of the increased popularity of trail centers and bike parks with uplift is the fact that you can get back to the top really quickly. Okay, we're now dropping into roller coaster. Toboggan is to my right. Both sports that rely on uplift. Just sitting. Wow, the sensation. It really is a feeling of speed when you're riding a bike like this. Uh, well, 10 minutes into uh, reacquainting myself with mountain biking and have to say all is going very well on the Pivot Firebird. Uh, but let's not kid ourselves, it's not just about the riding, it's about, it's about the adventure too, I guess, and which is why I like riding EMTB and a place like this. Um, 
I think reason number three for me is the fact that I'm no longer prepared to put in a one hour climb to be able to do one or two descents, where on an e-mountain bike, I can actually do double the amount of climbing and descending in the same space of time. Um, which is why I guess the, uh, the increased sort of popularity of, of bike parks has, uh, has kind of sprung up over the past sort of 10 years. Um, but again, that then becomes like a motorized sport, right? So my first feelings are, well, whoa, simply that, one of feeling. Definitely feel the ground a bit more. Whoa, it was off the ground even. Definitely feel the terrain more than you would for an MTB. I think part of the reason for that is that it's a lot more skittery riding a bike like this. Even though this is actually one of the, one of the better examples of a one stamp in travel bike. I mean, it's still a really good feeling. I mean, this is what I love. This is what I get my hit from, is doing downhill runs. So whether it be enduro bikes or downhill bikes, I just love this stuff. I'm feeling like I'm gonna readjust my braking points and the steering feels a lot less kind of jittery. It is on an MTB. Definitely feel my bars moving a lot more. But there's one of these, right? An uplift van. Now, riding on an uplift is as much of a revisit to the old life as it is as riding the bike itself. But when I look back, you know, I saw a great time to be had riding trail and enduro and downhill bikes downhill. We used to push downhill bikes uphill. So for me, that's where I migrated towards the gravity side of mountain biking. And actually the uplift became an integral part of, of what I did week to week. So uh, yeah, bit of a revisit, that's for sure. Well, this is very pleasant. Um, it's easy to forget though, isn't it? That mountain biking in this form at least, it does actually require quite a lot of motorized transport. Just saying. So here we are, 900 meters. Was, as they say on e-bikes, wow, that's so light. Wow, I just love this stuff. And the great thing about an EMTV, I guess, is the fact that I can turn around at the bottom and we do it all again. So like, Double the amount of runs in an hour. Still, I'm going to use the word, this is still sick. And why not? Why not? I love riding. Road bikes, mountain bikes, motorcycles, mountain bikes. It's all good. I guess the only problem. Ah. These little climbs kind of interrupt the flow. So on an EMTB, I'd be flying up here. I'm now crawling up here. Shame. No problem though. Just an observation. I think anybody new to mountain biking would find it incredibly hard to dislike this. It is so good. I mean, that's the reason that I started. Oh, look at that. So I think, yeah, pre-EMTB days, oh, <laughs> so much fun. Now that was the best fun I've had on a mountain bike in six years. Actually, do you know what? It's the only fun I've had on a mountain bike in six years. Here he goes, the wise ass. <sighs> I think it's just a, too much of a disconnect between the amazing fun and just the miserable boredom of this. Point four. Now this is where I'm actually really torn because 
what I've just done on that bike is probably one of the best bits of fun I've had ever on two wheels in the dirt thanks to the uplift and it was a very nice uplift. The thing is I don't want to spend a big proportion of my time in the uplift so you can forget pedaling up that hill that's out of the question it'll take me an hour to get to the top of that trail I'll probably do two runs in a day an uplift allows would allow me to do potentially six runs in a day on a fixed timetable but if you think about it half an hour to the top that's going to be three hours total in a van you look at these incredible hills all around you and finale is an emtb paradise as well and part of the reason of that is there's really good climbs there's actually climbs which i simply wouldn't be able to do on an mtb and i'll come on to climbing a little bit later but i think number four all those points considered is the ability to to go on your own terms without a timetable without fixed geographical locations to places such as this My next point is climbing. Uh, I've actually fallen in love, or well, that's maybe a strong word. Yeah, I really love climbing on an EMTB because I simply wouldn't be able to do that on an MTB. And I think the whole idea of an adventure where climbing, technical climbing is an integral part uh, of the ride. So I think, um, I think it's just a, a better proposition on an EMTB in terms of the adventures you go on. So I'd probably hit two points. I think the first point, it could be point six, I think, is that climbing is a lot more engaging on an EMTB. And point seven would be, is that it actually introduces a technical element to climbing, which I personally wouldn't be able to do on an MTB. So um, if you guys ride fire roads, then obviously, it's different, but uh, for me at least, I think, yeah, it's a whole new adventure. Only the conditions here in late January are, oh, look at it, it's so much light in here. I reckon it's better than in the summer. Oh, 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 oh. Well, by the Madonna Church is possibly an appropriate time to talk about the whole subject of hate. Look, folks, I hope that I proved that riding down this beautiful trail here above Finale that I absolutely love riding mountain bikes. But the thing with mountain biking is actually got quite complex. It's actually got quite diverse. I mean, I don't hate Blake because he can ride a mountain bike upside down in the same way as I don't hate Rich because he can bury himself to the point of exhaustion in a desert in Arizona. And, you know, I don't hate my neighbor's horse, even though it craps on the street outside my house. So hate's got nothing to do with it. I think it's easier to keep your line. It's definitely easier to keep your line on the MTV. 100%. I'm really fighting the bars on this. Hey look, I'm not saying I'm not having an amazing time. It's an observation. Oh. <laughs> it's like being in the Bahamas. I haven't even been to the Bahamas. Love that. Absolutely love that, wherever the bike. I guess that's just it, is that an EMTB allows me to do more of the thing that I love. And you know what? Had this not been a one-way trail, I'd definitely be looking to sneak a climb or attempt to climb up this rock garden. I mean, that, that for me is like the proper challenge. Um, so lots of things, folks. Um, Time, as I mentioned, uh, motivation, more motivated to get out, fitness, uh, my fitness is better. Um, I'm not plodding anymore. I'm just kind of, whoa, you know, razzing around the woods. Um, I had a great time on the mountain bike, so my reacquaintance is a positive one. Um, 
but guys, let's know what you think. I mean, I just want to give you an honest, an honest kind of outlook of why I no longer ride those bikes. Uh, and we're all different. We all live in different places. So um, yeah, let's know your thoughts. And if any questions, please let us know. Uh, so that's it from the fantastic uh, roller coaster Kill Bill, Madonna de la Guardia. Time now for a double espresso.